Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Happy Mother's Day. And uh, the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast will be on tonight at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time. We've got some more gloom and doom weather to look at for the Northeast during the week ahead. Some severe weather across the South, and we'll touch on the Long Range. And that's tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time. Actually, across most of the, much of the country today, the weather is on the quiet side. There's not a whole lot going on as far as watches and warnings are concerned this morning. We've got flood watches up in parts of East Texas uh, into Northwest Louisiana, and also some flood watches in a few counties in Montana. But nothing problematic, really, from Maine down Florida. It's not necessarily picture perfect weather, but at least we don't have any kind of uh, major uh, weather issues, severe weather, and so on, at least for this morning. And as we look at the satellite in the northeast, we've got another upper trough that's moving on through, and that's producing clouds, and we've got some showers that are around. Uh, The one upside in all of this is that uh, we'll probably see those showers gradually diminish as we go through the day, and it will not be raining everywhere at every waking moment. So there will be some dry periods. From Virginia down to Florida, the weather looks great. And you can see uh, some lightning strikes going on in parts of Oklahoma, Texas, and Louisiana. And that's with the next weather system Uh, that is coming out of the Southern Plains. And this is another one that's going to eventually take a track to the south. And that is always problematic for the Northeast and Northern Mid-Atlantic states uh, just about any time of year because it creates onshore flow issues. Here's what the radars look like this morning as of uh, 8 a.m. Eastern time. And we're seeing some showers uh, running from uh, New York State down to New Jersey and west into Eastern Pennsylvania. of bands here that are swinging on through. There are even uh, a few embedded heavier downpours uh, that are, are being indicated by the radar. But again, as this system moves slowly eastward today, we'll see those bands thin out a bit. And especially this afternoon into this evening, they should diminish. Meanwhile, we've got some rain and showers from Texas and some thunderstorms too from Texas across into parts of central Louisiana and along the coast of uh, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. Also seeing some showers and one or two rumbles of thunder in parts of Oklahoma and northwest Texas, and showers extending back up into Kansas and parts of Colorado. So no major systems to worry about today. We do have some severe weather risk uh, in and around the Great Lakes. So Wisconsin to Michigan and the lower and upper peninsula. Also from uh, the southern plains and down across Texas and into Louisiana, where we have a marginal to slight risk and a 2 to 5% uh, tornado risk in that zone. For tomorrow, we uh, have the marginal and slight risk areas shifting eastward. And uh, the main uh, areas this week will be right across the Gulf states, where we have a slight risk covering much of uh, southeast and south Texas uh, to Louisiana, southern Arkansas, and to southwest Mississippi, the marginal risk pushing uh, into southern Georgia for Monday into Tuesday. And then as we look at Tuesday into Wednesday, we're seeing just, a, at least for now, just a marginal risk uh, in Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, and Northern Florida. By the time we get there, there'll probably be uh, an area of slight risk to worry about. Big rains across the Gulf states, though. We're looking at areas of five to seven inches or more from the East Texas eastward uh, into Southern Alabama and up to several inches that extend up uh, to uh, the Tennessee state line. So a very, very busy week of wet weather across the south. In the northeast this week, we're looking at anywhere from uh, an inch to an inch and a half plus uh, from central New England, south through New Jersey and Long Island, west across Pennsylvania, and back to the Ohio Valley. Valley. Also some heavy rains up into the central plains where we're going to see up to several inches uh, of rainfall. Now, it's a weather pattern that if we had in the wintertime, Uh, in the northeast and northern mid-Atlantic states, trust me, it would have been a much different kind of winter. But with this northwest flow and weather systems coming down in the northern jet, one after another, we're seeing, we saw it this weekend, we're seeing it today with an upper trough that's moving on through, that moves out. And now we also have a system that, the old system from last week that was back up in Montana has migrated down into the southwest and that finally gets kicked out to the east. And this is going to, again, back to the south because of the fact that we've got this northern jet here uh, that's suppressing weather systems and forcing them to move west to east. 
rather than moving up to the northeast or north toward the Great Lakes. So the severe weather profile is different. It's more for the southern states. And in the northeast, it creates a situation where we get into some gloom and doom. Uh, but uh, the good news is that things do move along, and at least Thursday and Friday this week in the eastern part of the United States uh, look to be okay. And But it's okay this time of year, and you get into some sunshine. That means that temperatures just could easily reflex, reflexively get back up into the 70s. But with clouds and showers today, uh, we're going to be mostly in the 50s in eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England. You can see the evolution of rain and severe weather across the southern states. Monday looks for the most part, dry. There's a warm front that'll go by to our north, but most of the showers look to be in upstate New York with this. Uh, then a cold front comes through on Tuesday, and then here comes low pressure in southern Missouri, moving eastward across the uh, lower Ohio Valley, upper Tennessee Valley, pops up off the mid-Atlantic coast. So Tuesday, we'll probably see an increasing chance for showers in the northeast as the day wears on. And then uh, a chilly rain with an onshore wind and low pressure off the Delaware coast Tuesday night into Wednesday night. Uh, and then Thursday and Friday, we'll probably go back to some sunshine and some drier weather, although you do see showers approaching uh, by the end of the week and going into next weekend because there's some sort of unwritten rule in nature that it's supposed to be uh, wet on the days that you generally have off from work. Okay. The Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast tonight, 7.35 p.m. Eastern. Uh, a look ahead uh, to uh, this coming week with uh, the usual variety of weather to speak uh, to speak about. So tune us in at 7.35 p.m. Eastern time.